Hey guys, it's Jacqueline. If you want to get this makeup look, keep on watching. The first product I'm going to use is the award-winning Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Face Primer. You can use this underneath any foundation or on its own. Make sure you evenly apply all over the face and neck, leaving a smooth, flawless complexion. Next, I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury Unisex Healthy Glow. This is the best tinted moisturizer. Apply this evenly all over your face and neck as it will enhance and blend to your natural skin tone. Next, I'm going to use Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the original Sheer Nude. It's also a 24-hour wear primer that prevents any creasing from your eyeshadow. This will also help the color of the eyeshadows pop more and apply more smoothly onto the lids. This is the Stila Eyes of the Window Shadow Palette. I'm going to use this light nude color as the base. I applied all over my lid to create a neutral base for the rest of my eyeshadow. Now I'm going to use the lightest shade to highlight underneath the brows. Next, I want to use this warm base shadow as my transition color in the crease. Using a soft transition color will help you blend out any darker shades you put on next. Guys, this is my new favorite palette. It's by Charlotte Tilbury, of course, and it's her Dolce Vita palette with these four gorgeous shades that I'm gonna use today. The first shade is this beautiful burnt red color that I apply in my crease. Next, I use this rich espresso color to blend in the outer corners of my eyes. Now, I go back over with my original base color to blend out any harsh lines. And I also use the brow bone color to blend out any harsh edges. I use this medium brown transition shade to blend out the rest of this look. Next, I use the lightest shimmer shade all over the eyelid for some subtle glam. Also add the lighter shimmer shade to the inner corners to brighten up the eyes. This is the Burberry Cat Eyeliner in Jet Black. This liner features a calligraphy inspired end that just glides onto the lid, giving the most perfect smooth lines. Now we're going to curl the lashes to prepare for the mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It is my most favorite mascara because it adds extra volume and extra length to my lashes. Basically, this is if you want to be extra, like me. Next, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil in the color Dark Brown. First, I brush out my brows to smooth out the hair. 
Then I use the pencil side to fill in any sparse areas, creating more shape and definition to my brows. After that, I use the other side again to brush out and blend out the brows. To hold my brows in place all day, I use the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brow Gel in the color Supermodel. With this microfine precision brush, I'm able to groom every single hair and fill in the rest of the gaps. Now I use the Benefit Cosmetics Boing Airbrush Concealer in the color number one. This is a light to medium coverage concealer that is perfect for covering up my dark circles and deep inset eyes. After applying with my fingers, I then buff it out using a concealer brush. Next, to set my concealer, I apply the Kat Von D Translucent Powder. As you can see when I apply it, it looks like powder stars because where it comes out of, it looks like a star. After letting it set for a couple seconds, I blend it out with a fluffy brush. For my cheeks, I use the Travel Size Hourglass Blush in the color Mood Exposure. This color is the most perfect mauve pink for the cheeks. And now for the highlight. This is the Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer by Christian Dior. As you can see, it is well loved and well used by me because it gives a soft natural highlight and comes with this little brush. It even has CV on the bottom for Christian Dior and it's so cute. Next, I use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the color Dim Light. As you can see, the full size product is much larger than the travel size. Sometimes when I'm not ready to buy the full product, I try it out using the travel size first. Instead of using a traditional bronzer, I use dim light to create more subtle shadows on the frame of my face and neck. Now, I'm not sure which lip color to use today. This is the YSL Tattooed Couture, or I can use the Dior Lip Glow. I'm not sure which one. Mm -hmm, Jacqueline think, Jacqueline think. Or I can use this beautiful YSL Mauve Lipstick. Mm -hmm. Decisions, decisions. But I think I'm gonna go with the Dior Lip Glow. It's more of a soft, neutral, glam look. Yeah, let's see how it works. The Dior Lip Glow is a sheer lip balm that enhances your natural lip color, and this is in the color number 5, Lilac Glow. So the final step to this whole look is using these gorgeous lily lashes in the style Goddess. Now I love these. You can use them up to 14 times, and I got this special lash glue. Whoops, uh, this is by Lily Lashes, and I got the applicator to make it a little easier for me. And here's a closer look for you guys for the final results. And there you have it. This is my day or night glam look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Love you guys. See you soon.